How are we doing boys? Cabbage Cam Promotions and Streaming. Uh, I've been asked to do a video on how to clean and maintain your Hainsworth match cloth. So here's how I do mine and they seem to last me quite a long time and my cloth get absolutely battered as well. So I'll show you exactly what I did. First up, normal table brush. I brush the cushions first, brush in the direction that the nap goes, so give them a good brush. So I get the cushions done first. And then we brush the cloth, going the same way as the nap. So just little brushes, flicking the brush up so that any chalk dust comes off. You don't want to be putting the brush down and going all the way along because you're just going to push the chalk into the cloth. So just little movements, it doesn't need to be too heavy. Starting from the top, work your way down to the bottom. You might get a little bit of the brush sometimes come off onto the table. So if you do, you obviously just get that removed. Instead of trying to pick it off the cloth with your nails and scratch the cloth, just dab your finger, a bit of moisture, and it will just pick it straight up, simple. So once we've done that, Move on to that brush. This will get you all along your cushions. Same principle, little strokes, flicking up the end. Just remove any of the chalk dust. Obviously most of the chalk dust is going to be on this bottom cushion because obviously we've just brushed it all the way down. So that's where the most of it will be. Is that one done? Then we want to use that block. And with this, you don't want to be pushing too hard on the cloth. Some people push too hard, and then when you get to about here, the cloth's going to bunch up at the end. So you don't need to go hard on it. Make sure you overlap it on the way down so you get the whole cloth. And this is just going to help push the fibres down in the cloth. You don't want to be doing this until you fully brush the cloth first. Otherwise, you're just going to be pushing chalk into the cloth, which obviously you don't want to be doing that. Is that done? So I've already put the iron on. Um, most people recommend you have the iron at 160 degrees, or if you've got the other style of iron, between number seven and number eight. I always have mine on maximum temperature, but that's just personal preference. So the iron's already heated up. So what I then do, I use the, the Amber Seal cloth cleaner. 
You can use a light spray of water if you want to, but this stuff seems to work quite well. Don't be shy with it either. A lot of people only put a little bit on. No point in being shy, so spray about that sort of distance. Make sure we get a nice good covering on the cloth. The reason this helps is when you then iron the cloth, because of the moisture that you've just put onto it, it's going to steam iron the cloth. The benefit of that is what you'll find, and you see I put quite a lot on, don't be afraid to put this much on. The benefit of then ironing it so it's like a steam iron is any hand marks, etc., which are on the cloth. Brushing and padding is not going to remove them, but spraying it and ironing it will. So, nice hot iron. And I always iron at an angle. So, instead of ironing in a dead, if you iron in a dead straight line with the iron like that, all the way down and you keep going, you might end up with like tram lines across the cloth. So, when you iron, you still go down in a straight line. I always tilt the iron a little bit, and it tends to help, tends to help reduce those tramway marks. So this iron is on maximum temperature. As you see, I'm not flying down at a million miles an hour. I go down at a nice slow to medium pace. I touch the cloth with the back of my hand. I can feel it's got a nice amount of heat going into it. So we just overlap. And you might just be able to hear it sizzling just a little bit. That's perfect. That little bit of sizzle is lovely. So what you tend to find also is sometimes if you iron and the cloth is bone dry, sometimes the iron sticks a little bit, which could burn your cloth, and sometimes you end up with the, the cloth getting bunched up towards the end, and obviously if the iron gets stuck or it sticks, then yeah, you're going to damage your cloth. So as you see, we overlap all the way down, and then just twist it back to straight when we get to the bottom. And obviously we've got some overspray from the cloth cleaner on the outside of the table, which is not an issue because obviously we clean the top frame of the table as well anyway. Right, so that That is the table ironed. Sometimes you'll have some fibres left, cloth fibres left on the bottom of the iron. And you'll go to a club and you see the state of the bottom of the iron is normally black and just covered in crap. So I always use little style barbecue scraper and then I'll just scrape the iron at the bottom, give it a good old scrape so that if there is any fibres, which there is some, we scrape them off. So that when we use the iron next time, it's not got burnt fibres stuck on the bottom of it. On the other side, it's like a little wire brush. So give it a good wire brush as well. And then we know it's nice and clean, ready for next time. So that is the, that's the ironing done. Then what I always do, because we've had a bit of overspray, I don't iron the cushions obviously, but because we've had a bit of overspray from the cloth cleaner, I'm using that block, and just go over the cushions, just because it makes them look nice. So we just go over the cushions with a nap block. Last one to do. You'll be surprised how dirty the top frame can get. So like I said, we've got some odor spray. So I'll use this bit of the towel, which is clean. Clean the top frame of the table. And clean the pockets as well. And then I'll show you in a minute what the towel looks like after we clean the top frame. Obviously you're going to have sweaty hands across the table, you might have some cloth fibres, some chalk dust. Obviously I keep my table clean 
after every single session. So after every single big session pull, this is how I clean the table. Some people say do it once a week. What's the point of doing it once a week? You want to keep the optimum playing conditions. So I don't know if you can see that. There's not a lot on there. But if you only clean that once a week, that would be covered in shit. So that's the top three of them. And that is how we clean the table. So, you know, 10 minutes of effort, and the table will look like that. Your hands with match cloth will play absolutely lovely. It will last you longer. Obviously every now and then as well. Give your balls a good clean and your pool balls. If you've got a ball cleaner machine, then easy, put them in and just turn it on, job done. If not, just do it manually. And as you'll see now, we've got an absolutely mint cloth. Painsworth match, perfect ball speed, and it looks gorgeous. So that is how, that's how we clean the cloth. That will maintain it, give it more longevity, and hopefully it'll last you as long as possible. Any questions, give me a comment, send me a message. Cabbage Cam, promotions and streaming, over and out. See you later, guys.